Hey guys, so we are headed to Belle Plaine State Forest here in New Jersey, southern New Jersey. There's the sign right there, Belle Plaine State Forest. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through a, a quick drive through here. I've been here once, but I haven't uh, camped here. There is camping. Uh, there's the registration office there. Um, just going to adjust this slightly for you so you can see. And we'll do a quick drive through here and take a look around. Um, I see we got beautiful scenery. Um, you know, I mean, it's not palm trees, it's forest. And uh, that's the difference here. And uh, looks a lot of tree lines. And uh, I'm not sure what the camping fee is here. You know, we'd have to stop in that office. Uh, and I'm not sure what the whole arrangements are, if they have uh, hookups, if you had an RV, etc. Excuse the uh, shaking there. Try to hold the uh, camera holder uh, a little bit sturdier. Pretty desolate. I mean, obviously, you see, there's not much here. Uh, it, the surrounding area is not much to speak of. I mean, uh, what do you have? Atlantic City, probably about 40 minutes from here. Cape May, probably about a half hour from here, something like that. Uh, so those would be the two major uh, places around this area. Uh, just a um, big pothole there. So let's see what this sign says up here. Bell Plain State Forest Campsites to our right. So let's just take a look in here to see what we find. <clears throat> Looks like there's a little booth there, but I remember going by here one other time and I don't think there's anybody stationed in that booth. You have to go register in the front if you're going to camp here. Uh, and it's just some area, swimming area closed. That's a seasonal thing. Uh, contact station. Uh, you know, etc. Just basic information. And so uh, we'll take a look to each side of these are different campgrounds. Uh, it looks like to the left there's some logging, there's a lot like log, log cabins, uh, etc. Uh, again, beautiful forest scenery here. And uh, we'll take a look around at maybe we'll see some campsites do a little bit of a loop there is a body of water up here I believe it's mostly tent camping but I could be wrong again other than a log cabins that I'm seeing there's a body of water uh, to your right and uh, again this is mainly seasonal uh, so probably in about a month or so this area will probably be a little bit more crowded uh, here in uh, the begin in the middle of April uh, it's been a little bit cold, and there there obviously isn't really anybody here today. Uh, so it's always a little bit eerie uh, driving through a state forest when it's uh, empty like this. I did see a park ranger area um, when we came in uh, with a patrolman there. Let's go a little bit further down. <clears throat> here. Let's go to the group camping area and then we'll take a look here. Roads are paved pretty smooth, really not an issue. Uh, trash uh, place to the left there. I see somebody there throwing their stuff out. Narrow roads, you know, you'd have to, you know, if you had a travel trail or something like that, uh, yeah, I think you'd be okay. You just have to be mindful turning around and going to different corners, etc. I'm not really a forest guy. I mean, those who follow this channel know that I really like, uh, you know, if not by the beach, you know, populated areas. Um, but I can still appreciate the beauty uh, that we're seeing here with the nature. Excuse the bumpy ride, but this is what it is. A little bit bumpy as we get deeper into the forest. an offshoot road there I don't want to go too deep go a little bit further <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, would I uh, uh, camp here? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I would. Uh, I've never done it before. Uh, not at this place. Um, some people get into it, uh, you know, getting into those woods and uh, you know, I, I like, you know, I like flat land that I could walk and I don't have to worry about, you know, stepping, you know, stepping on the twigs and all the different things on the ground in this area that, you know, twist an ankle, do this. I'm not a hiking guy, necessarily. Group sites. Let's just see what's here. Turn around. Uh, yeah, there's potholes in this, in this uh, drive through here. So, I see, these are, again, the group sites. So it looks like here, this would be, we're just going to pull in and kind of like pull out. This will be a campsite here, campsite one, and uh, some type of notice on there, so maybe somebody has it reserved. Uh, so tent camping or what it would be tank camping I mean or you know off grid primitive camping there's not there's no hookups here uh, not that I'm seeing any in this area so I think the only thing there's some outhouses down there those two those two uh, things all the way in the yonder um, I think the only thing that they have maybe um, some type of like amenities as far as power and uh, water etc is if uh, you do like uh, the log cabins that they have and we'll see them. We're gonna go back this other way. They like said I don't want to get too deep into the forest. I'm kind of just doing this as uh, to you know, do something productive and different for my day today. Uh, you know, break up the routine a little bit. See some new sights. I really don't come uh, this way too often. Um, yeah. It is what it is. It's a forest. Uh, is there a Starbucks by here? Uh, I'd have to Google it. There probably is. I mean, you know, there's some... Probably about a half hour drive. Uh, something like that. 40 minutes to a Starbucks. I don't know. If, I don't see... I guess walking trails and stuff would be by that body of water. People will do walking and things like that. Uh, if you weren't going to spend time, you know, deep in the woods. Forty-five degrees. That's a forty-five degrees Fahrenheit, man. I can't believe it. It's cold. I mean, it's like dreary, cloudy. Pretty sights here driving, but if I get outside and everything, I mean, you got to bundle up. You got to layer up. I mean, if you bundle up, stuff like that. I mean, it's really not that cold. But you kind of get tired of putting on all the layers of clothes uh, at a certain point. You know, to me, I just like to wear shorts and a, and a tank top. But uh, here's the recycling uh, trash place to our right. We're going to go past that. And we'll take a look at, uh, and again, you're going to approach this body of water here. I'll just give you a good view here, being that nobody's here. That's the lake area. And then across the yonder, it does look like they have a playground and different things that I'm sure is seasonal uh, that you could use, you know, during the season. Again, we're in the off season, nasty, dreary day out. Uh, not much going on. Nobody here. Nobody camping. Every day I camp. I can't. I live in my car, so every day I'm camping. Uh, it's crazy. Uh, is there wildlife here? I mean, yeah, there's wildlife. I'm sure there's deer and stuff, certain type of birds, bears, uh, probably, I would think, I'm not sure. Go on one of these turns, and uh, you see, I think, looks like they're building more cabins here, make it right here, just take a look. Yeah, see, they're like they're building more cabins. So those are um, some of the new cabins that they're building. And it doesn't look like they're done. And then these are some of the uh, older ones. They have propane heat, looks like, in the back of that. 
I guess these are like log cabins that you pay a certain fee. This is site number uh, three here. Uh, you know, I guess you rent out like that little log cabin. They got pit fire and stuff like that. Log cabins, pretty, it looks like on both sides of me as we go. So each one of these would be like a campsite. So you'd have to Google it, Belle Plaine uh, Camping, and see how much one of those log cabins or whatever they call them are to uh, camp per night. But I don't see any type of like RV hookups unless it's a different part of the park, which is possible too. Uh, other than that, it would be tent camping. Um, that's what look what looks like uh, the setup is here. I mean, it's pretty, it's cute, but um, yeah, not my style. To me, it's more of a pain in the neck to go in those things. I'd rather just stay in my car. I got everything set up the way I like it. So, but everyone's different. As you know in life, another little outhouse there or something. And another cabin to our left. And we got another cabin there. Yeah, got little benches and stuff. They can do a fire pits, it looks like. There's some water there, it looks like well water. What does it say? It says drinking water only there in that well. So I guess you can get some type of drinking water from a well. Uh, so you got a fire pit up front there. You got a little log cabin. That is site number 13. Uh, it's interesting. Interesting, interesting. And now let's just go down here real quick to see. These are, looks like tank camping sites down here. Yeah, these are tank camping sites down here. So, what you'd have is, if you went down this way, these are all, see there's something set up there, somebody to the left, you see that blue uh, thing, yeah, somebody's biking, they're tank camping, they just, I don't know if it blew away with it, there's a site to our right. So these are all sites, I guess, that you can use, somebody must be in the woods on that one. Nobody's really here. Eerie. Um, here's a site to your right. So it's like, you know, you pull in right here, you set your camp up, and you go from there. Uh, what site is this number is 270. And then just on both sides, I guess if you wanted to tank camp, you'd be good to go. Uh, do I want to camp here? I mean, not necessarily, no. This is site 271, we'll pull in here. So if I reserved site 271 and registered and everything like that, this would kind of be uh, my camping set up. Right where I'm parked now, I'm just driving around it. And um, that's it. And this is, uh, you'd be camping. So I mean, I wouldn't be against camping here. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, again, I don't know right now, April, in the middle of April, as I make this, uh, what the registration process is and et cetera, et cetera. I mean, it's peaceful. You wouldn't have any, uh, I don't think you'd have any issue. Uh, peaceful, quiet, very serene. Um, nice, uh, another well there to the bottom right. And um, I don't see any gates, so it looks like you can come and go as you want once you uh, register. Um, so I'm sure they have that park ranger checking in at times to make sure, you know, people that are camping here are registered, et cetera. But I give you perspective. I gave myself perspective. So it's uh, interesting if you Google state parks or national parks, uh, those are other places that, again, you can legally camp, set up. I mean, again, you have to get a tent, do whatever you have to do, set it up. Uh, but we had a brother, Scott, went down to Florida. That's what he did. He just put a tent up, car camp down in Florida for a month or so. And um, and that's it. But just so you get some perspective on the different options. You know, not most campsites, I mean, I don't know how much they would be. I don't want to start to give you a number. I mean, I've seen them as low as like almost $10 to up to like, I mean, I guess they go up to almost 100 I mean, but 10 to $30, I would say, is the average per night. And then if there's any other fees associated with that, that's the average that I've noticed um, if you're not a senior citizen or whatever. And it, this, I mean, this forest goes, 
I mean, it's a huge forest. I mean, we, there's different streets that I could take. We could go real deep into it, but I just wanted to give a general view and uh, I'll end this video now, but stay encouraged. And if you're living out of your car, if you're living as, an, as a nomad, you want to do things responsibly and legally, just Google in your area, state national parks, and then, you know, check the camping part of the website and see what the restrictions are. And, uh, you know, it's another option for you to live a non-conforming life, a non-traditional life while doing things legally, properly. Again, usually in, in a park, you can only stay 14 days consecutive, then you have to move and then you can come back. Usually that's how it works, but do your own research, stay inspired, go from there.